The latest version of Illum Tools incorporates some exciting changes that will open up the software to exterior calculations and generally make your workflows more flexible. You'll notice some changes on the toolbar right away. Calculations are no longer restricted to using rooms and spaces. Notice there's no more room and space buttons on the toolbar. <laughs> you can now compute other Revit boundary types as well, regions and areas. You'll also notice that you can compute more than just illuminance now. You can compute luminous accidents, diffuse luminance, unified glare rating, and daylight factor for any grid. In order to facilitate some of these changes, we needed to change the way calculation points are assigned. All calculation points are now either level-hosted or face-hosted families. They're no longer associated with rooms and spaces. We can assign the new point families to rooms, spaces, areas, regions, and even lines using the Add Points command. Each time you assign a calculation point family to a boundary type, you'll see a small calculation points family marker. This marker contains a visual indicator of what's been computed for that boundary. Notice across the top the icons look like General Use, Emergency, and Daylighting, like the icons here. And then down the left side, we've got Illuminance, Exodence, Luminance, Daylight Factor, and UGR. We can tab select a check mark and actually see the statistics in the Revit Properties list, right here. The markers can be moved, but must remain within the calculation volume. They can also be switched on and off from the Utilities button. You can also choose three sizes for the marker, large, medium, and small. Generally, I think our sizing is pretty good. Let us know if that's not working. Let's examine some of this new functionality. I can add points to any boundary in the traditional way by selecting the boundary type and then selecting that boundary, or I can just click the button and select whatever boundaries are visible in that view. Or, even slicker, I can select a boundary type in Revit and then select the button. Regions are super handy for adding calculation points to areas only where you want them. This is your answer to masking out unwanted points. Assign the points to the region and then calculate the room or space. What if I wanted to add calc points to all the rooms up in this area? I can simply select them all in Revit and then filter the selection for only rooms. And now in Illum Tools, I'll just click the Add Points command. I want to isolate these so they have statistics for each room. If I combine them, it would just be one statistical area for all of the rooms. All of the rooms will have identical parameters, such as spacing, work plane height, center points, boundary offset, etc. Likewise, I can calculate them all this way as well. I've got them all selected. I simply click the Calculate button. All right, let's go outside. Let's select a site plan. Here we have two regions. There's one for the parking lot pavement, where the calculation points are. And then we've got a larger region, which will serve as the calculation volume. Notice how we've actually included the front of the facade. The calculation volume includes all the geometry and luminaires that you'll need. Select the larger region. Click Calculate. Everything's considered. How bloody sick is that? Let's go back inside for a couple more important changes. There's our third floor ceiling plan. Notice I've got 
a third floor emergency lighting plan as well. Now you can keep calculations for different modes in different views as the mode selection is now view dependent. There we've got results for the emergency lighting. And now let's go back to the general use view. And there's our calculations in general use. So again, emergency is enabled in the emergency lighting view and general use in the other view. We can also see the statistics separately and schedule them separately. The hide and view results commands are also view specific. This is true for the various calculation metrics as well. You can have a luminance in one view and glare rating in another, for example. Okay, one last enhancement for Layout Assistant users. Layout Assistant. Let's select this room. We didn't have calculation points, so now we can add them. You'll notice this dialog is a little bit different. It's all very intuitive, though, so you can figure it out. So you need to work plane, I'm going to turn off auto rotate, and I'll put in a boundary offset of one foot. Good to go. Select the luminaire. And now, when we go to mask areas, we can mask by elements by just selecting the elements, or we can mask by regions. Let's grab this region right here, because I don't want any luminaires over those floor to ceiling racks. Click finish. Let's locate a ceiling tile. And now you can see our masked area. If I'm interested in 50 foot candles, there you can see all of my layouts avoid that masked area. Pretty slick. So these are the functions that are new in the new version of Loom Tools.